Hi, Liz Child here for Green Earth Organics and this week's Four Ways With episode is all about leeks. So I'm going to show you four simple ways to really make the most of these beautiful seasonal vegetables. Okay, so first things first, the easiest way to clean a leek is to split it in half lengthways with a sharp knife and then run it under the tap making sure you get into all the layers and get all that mud rinsed out. Okay, so the first recipe I'm going to show you is a pie. So I'm going to make a mushroom leek and butter bean pie. Leeks really go well with kind of creamy, cheesy flavours. So I've got an oven and hob safe pan on heat. I'm just going to add a generous amount of butter and start frying off the leeks. So a lot of people cut off most of the dark green bit of the leek and discard it and that is a real waste there's absolutely no need for that these bits are just as delicious as the white parts of the leek they just need like a few minutes longer cooking um, so what I normally do is just break off any bits like this that are quite dry and um, discoloured and they can go in the compost and then just trim off the very end part I'm not wasting any of the leek at all and then I'm just going to cut it so we'll get that darker green part sautéing first before we put the lighter green part in. I'll also get some mushrooms chunked up and in with the leeks. Then three or four cloves of garlic. put in a big pinch of salt just to help draw the liquid out of the vegetables as they sauté. Once the mushrooms and dark green tops start to kick down a bit you can add the pale green white parts of the leek. A little pinch more salt and plenty of freshly cracked black pepper. Then I'm going to drain the aquafaba from Two tins of butter beans. I like using these organic ones. And then that aquafaba is a really useful ingredient for making vegan mayonnaise and in like uh, vegan cakes and things. If you want to see the vegan mayonnaise recipe, it's just a few posts back. So I'm going to keep that in the fridge and use it up within three days. Leeks and thyme are a match made in heaven, so I'm just going to put in a load of this fresh thyme. Okay, that's starting to really cook down nicely now, so I'm going to add a big tablespoon of um, whole grain mustard, I use this organic one. And then normally I'd put in uh, maybe half a glass of white wine, I haven't got any white wine at the moment, so I'm just going to use a little splash of this gorgeous apple cider vinegar, just for a touch of acidity. And then before I put the butter beans in, I want to make a kind of creamy sauce. So you could just use some nice thick cream. Today I'm going to make a sort of bechamelish sort of mixture. So I'm just going to sprinkle in just a couple of tablespoons of plain flour. Stir that in. And for that kind of cheesy flavour, some of these delicious nutritional yeast flakes. So about a handful and then I'm going to go in with some lovely creamy oat milk. So just a little bit at a time and just cook it in so the flour and the milk will thicken into a nice creamy sauce and it will just be perfectly flavoured with the thyme and the mustard and the garlic. Keep it stirring so the flour doesn't stick on the bottom. And once it seems like it's mostly cooked out, just give it a taste of seasoning. And pop in those delicious butter beans. A lot of puff pastries from um, shops are incidentally vegan, so if you need it to be dairy free, just check the packaging. And then work quite quickly, you don't want the butter to start to melt. Um, so ideally you want to cool this down before you top it. But I like to just get it done and get it in the oven. 
So I'm just gonna pop it straight on. I'm working really quickly because it is melting. Just trim and patch up and just get that straight in the oven before it melts. So the creamy butter bean leek and mushroom pie has been in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes and it is perfectly done now. You can see it's nice and golden and puffy with a gorgeous creamy filling and that is gonna be a really nice dinner. Next up, I'm gonna make a classic leek and potato soup, which is one of my kids' favorites. It's really simple, really easy to make. Just saute the green part of the leek in butter. Then I'm gonna cube up a couple of potatoes, so you can peel them or leave them unpeeled. Up to you. I'm gonna cut them into a fairly fine dice. So I've got the leek tops and the potato protein in the pot. Just gonna add one of these gorgeous organic stock cubes. I'm gonna crumble it in. And of course you could add things like celery and carrot and garlic if you like. I'm just keeping it really simple today with some stock and some water. slice the rest of the leek and add that into the pot as well. So one leek and a couple of potatoes is enough to serve four and I would like to bulk it out sometimes as well so add a drained tin of chickpeas and make a leek potato and chickpea soup. I also like to add some different flavourings as well to make it more interesting so a few sprigs of fresh thyme is always good with leeks. And I'm just gonna let that simmer until it's nice and soft. Okay, let's give the leek and potato soup a taste now. You can see it's all cooked down. It's got this kind of beautiful color. You can blend it with an immersion blender, but I quite like it chunky like this. So it's really good. It just needs a touch more salt. Some black pepper. And just a little acidity to balance it out. So best thing for that is a squeeze of lemon. Okay, so next up I'm going to do a little play on a classic leeks vinaigrette. So traditionally the uh, leeks would be cleaned and then boiled in salty water and then left to drain and then dressed with a classic vinaigrette with some Dijon mustard in it. But um, instead of boiling them, I'm going to just saute them in the as neat as I can chunks to make a beautiful salad. Get some of this lovely vegan butter melting in a pan. And then I'm going to cut some chunky little pieces of leek. And then just kind of place them into the butter. Wherever I can, I'm going to put this beautiful cut side down. You eat with your eyes and with salads especially, it helps if they're beautiful. Then I'm just going to season the leeks with plenty of salt. And then cover them with the lid to let them kind of steam saute at the same time. So they should be nice and soft and silky all the way through with a little caramelised char on the bottom. Okay, so while the leeks are cooking, I'm going to make a classic vinaigrette. So the sort of classic ratio is three to one. So three parts olive oil and one part vinegar. So I'm going to do, I'm going to double that. So six tablespoons of olive oil. And then two tablespoons of vinegar. So going for my favourite cider today and then I'm going to put in a nice big dollop of this delicious Dijon mustard and just give the vinaigrette a good mix actually what I'm going to do is pour it back into this little jar because it's the end of the jar I'm going to season it with a little salt and put the lid on the jar 
keep it a good shake. So if you just use the tip of your knife and test to see if it's soft all the way through yet. So I'm going to carefully lift up those gorgeous buttery leeks and pop them onto the salad, onto the lentils. And then give the vinaigrette an extra little shake. And then you want to kind of almost drown them in this dijon -y delicious vinaigrette. And that's going to sink through to the lentils as well. And then you can top it with some toasted walnuts or um, some chopped capers. I really like it with some fresh tarragon strewn on top, but I haven't got any tarragon at the moment. So I'm going to use these beautiful sprigs of dill. Fennel would be great as well. And there's beautiful leek vinaigrette salad with some green lentils and dill. So the last leek recipe I'm going to show you today is a little nod to a Calcot Festival, which is um, a Catalonian thing. There's a beautiful vegetable called a Calcot and it's kind of somewhere between a leek and a spring onion. So you can do a kind of approximation of it with leeks. So traditionally they are barbecued until the outside is like completely burnt but the inside is sweet and juicy and then um, they make a romesco sauce, peel off the burnt outer layer, dunk it in the sauce and eat it and it is absolutely spectacular. For now I'm just going to have to do my kind of take on it with these gorgeous leeks. I'm going to pop some olive oil into a hot pan and a little butter as well. Then I'm going to cut very big slices of the leeks and then chuck them straight in. I'm going to season them with some salt and then I'm going to let them fry on a high heat with the lid off for a bit and I'll pop the lid on and let it kind of steam so you get that some slightly burnt bits and some steamed juicy sweet bits. Okay, and while that's happening, I'm going to make a romesco sauce. So I've toasted some almonds. It's just a couple of handfuls of almonds in the oven. Add a little bit of this lovely smoked paprika. So it's about a teaspoon or so. And I'm going to put some of these grilled peppers into the blender as well. A raw clove of garlic. Ideally a splash of sherry vinegar, but if you don't have sherry vinegar, some red wine vinegar will do. And then best quality olive oil. A good pinch of salt. And I'm going to blend that into a nice loose sauce. Really simple to make, absolutely gorgeous. It's starting to look quite charred underneath now. I'm going to pop the lid on and just let it steam cook for the rest of its time. Okay, so the leeks have nearly finished cooking, so I'm just going to plate up a bit of this stunning sauce. This is a great kind of platter to have middle of the table. And the leeks can just get kind of scattered on the top. Look at that colour contrast, it's stunning isn't it? And there we have my take on calcots with romesco sauces, charred leeks with romesco sauce and that is just stunning scooped up with some really good bread or even just as it is and a nice glass of Spanish wine. Mm -mm. Enjoy!